everyone, Amanda here, thanks for joining me. So I'm going to make another sweet treat box, we're just going to get on with it, no waffle today. So you're going to need two pieces of cardstock, both of these measure 4 inches by 4 inches. Then you're going to need a piece of window sheet, if you don't want it to be see-through, then another piece of cardstock. Okay, that measures 3 and a half by 10. Okay, so if you don't want to use window sheet, use a complementary cardstock. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to score both of these on all four sides at three quarters of an inch. Right, super simple. That way. So, there we go. Try not to press on too hard so that I don't split my cardstock. So you can make these, I'm going to try and do it really quick so you can see how fast they are to make if you don't waffle and talk too much. Okay, so that's both of those done. Whilst you've got your scoreboard out, get your window sheet, put it on the long side. And we're going to score at two and three eighths. Okay, now you need to be careful when you're scoring this. One, two, three. It's quite difficult to score. You need to make sure you're pressing firmly up against that butt bar there and the side bar there. And hold it very firmly. Make sure your hands are clean. Uh, one, two, three, so two and three eighths. Okay, gently but firmly because you don't want your acetate to slip out of position. Two and three eighths, four and three quarters. So use your hands all the way along the window sheet to keep it in place. Okay, because it will buckle as you score it. So that was four and three quarters, seven and a quarter. Nine and five eighths. One, two, three, four, five, which is there. Okay. And that's it. So I'll put this to one side for a minute and let's do our card stop first. Just put my score to a left so I don't lose it. So you want to fold and burnish all of those score lines. And we're going to create basically create two little boxes out of these okay one is going to be your base and one is going to be your lid and in this instance they can both be exactly the same size okay grab some sharp scissors and start cutting so Okay, I've done this a million times, so I'm not going to do a massive explanation. Cut to the left of the score line on that side, and then on this side, to the, just slightly to the right of the score line. These two little boxes you want to notch. Okay. Just make sure that I've not got a little bump left there. Okay. Just cut it a bit more. It's really not good practice to have to pull these off because what it can do is rip your paper. Let's turn it around and do exactly the same. And there. And there. And there. Okay. Then what you want to do is, as I've shown you loads of times, you fold your tabs in and that's where you put your tape or your glue. Alright, so let's get some tape on here. And then once I've constructed one, I'm going to pause the video whilst I do the other because they do it in exactly the same way. But I will always show you the full process um, of at least one part, even putting the tape on. So, okay. Even putting the tape on, which is a bit boring to watch, but. Uh, it's a necessary process. <laughs> so you can just uh, 
Well, it'll only take me a minute. Okay. There we go. Always give your tape a bit of a press or a bit of a burnish. It'll just make your life easier when you come to take the backing off of the tape with your pokey tool. It'll come off easier. There'll be no messing about. Remove all of your paper. It's easier to see on the red. I thought I'd use red cardstock today because it's easier to it's easier for me to see what I'm doing with the bright camera light. Um, and I'm filming at night and it's absolutely freezing. It's so cold today. It's been a joke. Right. Oh, I went and took them off. Okay. See, that paper didn't want to come off then. Give it a press. So you can make two sets of these. So you need two for each uh, treat box. And you can, obviously, because they're only 4x4, four four, then you'll get at least two sets out of an, out of an A4. If you're using 12x12, 12 12, you're going to get more. So, <laughs> again, we're going edge to edge. Can't stress it enough, edge to edge. Okay, ignore the tabs. You've already notched them. You're not lining those up. You're lining the edges up. And be as neat as you can. Okay, and as tidy as you can. And that's all there is to it. So you just do that exact same process for the second part. So I'll do that and then we'll get cracking. So that's both of my little tiny boxes made. So now we're going to work with the acetate. So let's just move these out of the way. Now this is going to be glarer. So I am sorry you can see my camera. So what you want to do is treat this just like cardstock. And you need to um, burnish those score marks. So in the first instance just press them with your fingers. Make sure they are clean. Okay. And you, can just, you shouldn't need to go over it with a... A burnishing tool. You just press it with your fingers and you should get a sharp enough crease. Okay. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, first of all, in fact, before you crease it, in fact, I forgot this, you need to put some tape along one of the bottom edges. So I'm using Medline tape because it's super strong and I've got a, quite a skinny one because I don't want that tape showing. Um, so I'm going to keep it as close to the edge as I can. Okay, working along. Don't pull, don't pull your tape like that. Place your tape down and smooth it onto your project with your finger. Because if you pull it like that, you'll buckle up whatever you're putting your tape onto. So just place it neatly and then just press the tape on a bit at a time. Okay, so just up to that last score line before your little fold there because that's where you're going to join it together so you don't need tape on that bit. Okay, alright. So now you want some tape on the where you've folded your little section over, put tape on there. It's quite... Um, What's the word? Malleable is um, window sheet. So if you've got to just flatten it, you can always just push it back into shape nicely with your hands. Right, so I'm just going to give that tape a rub so that it's easier for me to remove. Okay, bring my perky tool back in. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to join these two edges up. Okay. All right, so you're going to find it easier if you join up where you've put your tape because then you can see your edge easier if you're a bit blind like me. Okay, because you want this to meet up nicely and flush as you can, otherwise, it won't fit in your boxes. There we go, that's pretty straight and pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with that. So now you can just gently reinforce the score marks to get yourself back into a square shape okay then you want to get your tape off now if you just take off one side at a time okay leave the rest of the tape on I do this quite a lot on my projects and then you want to slip the non-taped side inside the box okay and then slip down like so 
and then just press with a bone folder if you can't get your fat chubby fingers in like, like I can't I can't get my fat fingers in there okay and make sure that that is flush all the way down to the bottom and then pull your is that flush all the way down to I'm not 100% convinced that's flush all the way to the bottom Amanda not to worry okay make sure it's flush all the way to the bottom mine's not perfect but never mind okay and then you can remove your tape making sure your box is flush to the bottom and then remove the rest of it okay give it a little burnish okay like so then you get your sweeties put your sweeties in that will help you get your square shirt back as well and then put your lid on okay and then you can decorate however you like that looks like it. it reminds me of something can't think at the moment what that is but it's reminding me of something so i've got two strips and oh, i did have two strips where's the other one gone there we go two strips of decorative paper here okay and these measure ten and a half by what did i do half an inch and then i've got one for the lid this measures what did i do was it two and a half two and a quarter by two and a quarter okay so let's get those glued on not that glue this glue and you can put a hole in the top and add some ribbon to put a loop on you can um, add further decoration along the front I'm going to keep mine simple for today um, just to keep my video a bit shorter but you could do some pretty fussy cutting and like have it going around the corner like that and coming down that would be really nice okay and then these little strips here will wrap all the way around I've not left the measurements over on my coffee today because I've tried to keep the video really short so all you need to do if you've missed any of the measurements is just rewind it and watch it again um, there's not really not very many measurements to think about so I'm just looking for the halfway mark of my paper by just bending it by eye and doing it by eye about there okay find where you want to be the front stick that on and then follow it around your box till it joins at the back you can use tape if you want I prefer glue because then you've got more opportunity for if you've not got it on straight you can move it okay and that will just join nicely at the back okay let's give it a press you could do this before you put your window sheet in so then you can get your hand inside your little box and press it but it's really not difficult to do it after the fact okay so if, like this for example add your glue which way am I having it that way bend it to find roughly your middle by eye and then go across the middle of the front like that get it once you've got one bit fairly straight the rest will follow and then you can go inside your box with your hands like that and help that to adhere um, so you could do that with your other one before don't want to stick you could do that with your other one before you slip the acetate in come on don't be nata it's meant to be a quick video there we go just don't want to stick for some reason really don't want to stick on this cardstock hmm how bizarre okay not to worry it will stick eventually okay That's when tape comes in handy if you're in a hurry. But uh, I'd rather have the wiggle room, as it were. Okay. 
and then just put it on the top of there. Like I say, you can put a hole in, add a ribbon and add some flourish of decoration on the side and you've got yourself another pretty sweet treat box. I hope that's useful. Um, it's a super quick make. You can make them in absolutely no time. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.